major changes could be on the way to those outdoor dining spaces that popped up during the pandemic. Good evening. I'm Derek Stahl and I'm Kimberly Hunt. San Diego restaurant owners are being told they'll have to pay thousands of dollars to keep their setup. Today is the deadline to apply for a new permit. As ABC 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena reports, the rules and fees that go along with them have many business owners frustrated and confused. Outdoor dining became essential during the pandemic, with many San Diego restaurants expanding into the sidewalks and streets to accommodate customers. But the temporary permits that allowed them to do so are expiring, and the deadline to apply for new ones is July 13th. But along with new permits come new rules. According to the city, restaurants that have so-called streeteries, spaces built out onto the road, will now have to pay an exclusive use fee. Depending on the location, the city says that could be anywhere from 10 to $30 per square foot. We'll see how it works. David Roger with Felipe's Pizza Grotto in Little Italy says their fee would work out to about $20,000 a year. Remember that these decks are generating revenue that the city of San Diego is getting paid. But the new rules also say if the business opens their space to the public and clearly post signs saying so, they don't have to pay the fee. In other words, anyone could come and sit in the space and they don't have to buy a thing. Felipe's is opting to do that and says that takes the cost down from around $20,000 to around $25 to $3,500. But Rogers wonders what issues could arise and also says the new restrictions come at a time when many people are still only comfortable eating outdoors. But if it wasn't for here, we don't really go out to eat much. As of Wednesday, a city spokesperson said they've received 15 applications with more being processed. If businesses haven't applied for a permit by the deadline, they're supposed to start immediately making plans to take down their structures. We're just very little numbers away from going from medium COVID to high COVID. So now what happens if we go to high COVID? Lindsay Pena, ABC 10 News. The city says letters have already been issued directing businesses to remove their temporary outdoor business operations. And moving forward, those who fail to comply could receive a $1,000 administrative citation.